One reason China's spectacular rise sometimes alarms its neighbours is that from the Himalayas to the sea, it claims territory it does not control. In the West, China's border dispute with India is more than a minor cartographic tiff. China claims an area of India that is twice the size of Switzerland, the state of Arunachal Pradesh. Further West, China occupies Indian claim territory next to Kashmir. In 1962, China won a brief war over the dispute. Now, however, a more immediately dangerous standoff is the one between China and Japan over disputed islands in the East China Sea, known as the Senkaku in Japan and the Diaoyu in China. The surrounding seas may be rich in oil and gas, which Japan says provoke China's interest. Japan says they've always been its territory. A new and much more dangerous phase of the dispute began in 2012, after Japan's government nationalised three of the islands by buying them from their private owner. Infuriated, China since then has been sending its ships and planes close to the islands, now challenging even Japan's claim to control them. Japan's ally America has confirmed that its security guarantee does cover the islands. It and Japan were especially provoked by China's unilateral announcement in November 2013 of an air defence identification zone covering the islands. The worry is less of a deliberate war than an accidental collision at sea or in the air might escalate. Similar fears cloud the disputes in the South China Sea, where the maritime claims in Southeast Asia are even more complex and again, Competition is made more intense by speculation about vast potential wealth in hydrocarbons. In May 2014, China moved a massive oil rig to drill for two months near the Paracel Islands in waters claimed by Vietnam. China has an expanding navy and projects power from its submarine base on Hainan. To the south, China and Vietnam also claim the Spratly Archipelago, as does Taiwan, whose claim in the sea mirrors China's. But the Philippines also has a substantial claim. Malaysia and even tiny Brunei have an interest too. In 1995, China evicted the Philippines from Mischief Reef, and in 2012 from Scarborough Shoal. The Philippines accuses China of salami-slicing tactics, stealthily expanding its presence in disputed waters. In March 2014, it tried to stop the Philippines from resupplying a small garrison it maintains on the Second Thomas Shoal. Since then, it has appeared to be building an airstrip on the Johnson South Reef. Apparently ignoring international law, China and Taiwan point to a map from the 1940s showing a big, U-shaped, nine-dashed line around the edge of the sea. All China's, they say. The Philippines, to China's fury, is challenging this at a UN tribunal. A huge chunk of global trade and almost one-third of seaborne crude oil passes through the South China Sea, so these uncertainties worry America as well as countries nearby. The status of Taiwan is also still unresolved. In practice, it has been independent since 1949, but China still insists that one day it must accept Chinese sovereignty. Polls suggest that few in Taiwan are in any hurry for that day to come. China has never renounced the use of force against Taiwan if necessary and has hundreds of missiles on its coast trained on the island. No one is asking the Tibetans in China's west or the largely Muslim Uyghurs of the neighbouring region of Xinjiang whether they want to be part of China, but many of them certainly hanker after independence. That is one reason why China cannot show weakness on what it sees as issues of national sovereignty. Its expansionist dreams are haunted by separatist nightmares.